Out of the frying pan into the fire is a common phrase in English used to describe the scenario when someone attempting to escape from a bad situation ends up in a worse one. But where does this strange expression come from? It has parallels in many other languages and, as we'll discover in this video, is more than 2,000 years old. The first recorded use of an expression like out of the frying pan into the fire is in an ancient Greek poem written by Germanicus Caesar. This is his short poem. Once a hare leapt from the highest mountain into the sea, hoping to escape a dog's sharp teeth. But still he could not escape his dreadful fate, for at once a sea dog seized him and took his life. He leapt out of the fire, as the saying goes, and into the flame. Fate raised you to be a meal for a dog, either on land or in the sea. So, the earliest version of this phrase that we know about is out of the fire into the flame. Because Germanicus Caesar writes, as the saying goes, it's clear that this must have been a well-known expression at the time. We see a different version of the phrase used just over a century later, when the satirical writer Lucian mocks both belief in the gods and philosophy. When I was a child, and heard Homer and Hesiod's stories of battles and civil wars, not only about heroes, but also gods, adulterous, violent, thieving, vengeful, power-hungry, incestuous gods, I found them good and was very interested in them. But when I became a young man, I heard that the laws demanded the opposite to the poets, forbidding adultery, violence, and theft. I became very confused and did not know what to make of it. For the gods would never have done all this if they did not consider it good, and the lawgivers would not have advised the opposite if they did not think that was desirable. Since I was confused, I decided to go and put myself in the hands of the people they called philosophers, and ask them to make of me what they wanted, and show me a simple and reliable way of life. This was my idea in visiting them, but trying this only took me, as they say, out of the smoke, into the fire. One of them advised me to do nothing except have pleasure and look for it in all things, for pleasure was true happiness. But another advised me to work hard at everything, suffer, exercise mind over body, be filthy and unwashed. So Lucian's phrase is quite similar, out of the smoke into the fire, and pretty close to the modern English, out of the frying pan into the fire. The first time a frying pan gets involved is in a story by 15th century Italian writer Laurentius Abstemius. He wrote a hundred fables based on proverbs and expressions, including one about a frying pan containing burning fat. Some live fish are thrown into the frying pan, and one of them suggests to the others that they jump out to save their lives. When they do, they fall into the burning coals beneath. This fable led to the expression, out of the frying pan, into the fire, which we find in English and some other European languages. Some languages also have equivalent expressions which are more like the older versions we've seen. And many languages express the same thing in a different phrase altogether linked to other stories or situations where you can go from bad to worse. French, for example, takes its expression from two sea monsters in ancient mythology, while some other languages use more relatable situations. Weather-related scenarios seem to be quite popular. In Spanish, there's a version of this expression which is a clever play on words. The Spanish word for bad is malo or mala, 
and the word for worse is peor. If you want to talk about going from a bad situation to a worse one in Spanish, you can use the phrase salir de Guatemala e meterse in Guatapeor, which plays on the place name Guatemala and the words for bad and worse. Do you have an expression for out of the frying pan into the fire in your language? Comment below, like and subscribe. <laughs>